All right, welcome back everyone. So today we're gonna talk about why some men can't grow beards. I've already posted a um, previous video about it. This is gonna be more comprehensive, hopefully much quicker, and it's gonna be more visually appealing to everyone. So let's get started and talk about what kind of contents we have in this video. So the one that I really wanna point out to you guys is the androgen receptor topic, and please pay attention to that one. Before we get there, I just wanna make sure that you guys are clear with my disclaimer here. I am not a medical expert, and the information I share on my videos are from my personal research, and I do not recommend or advise you in any way. There are dangers and risks involved with using any of the supplements and hair growth products. Please consult with a medical professional before, and your results may vary, and I do not guarantee um, results. Alrighty, so I know I'm sure you guys have um, tried growing a beard before with no results, and you guys have results maybe closer to this kind of white patch snow that you see here well before we get through all all the kind of discussion as to why you can't grow a beard let's go through some just basic terminology and biology and human anatomy so um, i'm not going to read these uh, terminologies for you but this is my best translation of how um, what these uh, mean and these are going to be very important for us to know because um, the vocabulary here will be used continually in future videos and if you watch or read any content about beard growth you're going to need to know these alrighty so I would say this is the ticket to play ticket to join the game because if you don't have the ticket you ain't you're not even going to be able to grow anything so let's let's look at facial hair density so if you have um, if you have the valus hairs the light color peach fuzz that you have and this is a picture of me with my little uh, peach fuzz on my sideburn and since I do have some facial hair density those valus hairs that are just very small but I do have those I do have potentially you know I can't guarantee I'm gonna get a full beard but I do have a potential to grow something so if you don't have any hairs to start with there's almost no way at this point to grow something from nothing hopefully in the future we might have some miracle where we can grow uh, you know something from nothing but let's talk about the most impor important topic here. It's the androgen receptor and their sensitivity to it. And you know, I, basically, this is a uh, the best way I can describe. It's it's a it's a mechanism. Androgen receptor is a mechanism that binds with androgens. And androgens are testosterone, DHT. We'll go more in detail in the next page. However, for this one, you just have to remember that androgen receptors are going to be a mechanism that expresses your male phenotype. Uh, such as facial hairs so it's very important to know that this is uh this is kind of the uh the mechanism behind um those expression of pheno male phenotypes Alrighty, so if you are uh, wondering where does where do i receive my genetic kind of tendency of how sensitive my androgen receptors are they're going to come from your x chromosome if you're a male you get you have an x and y when you're conceived and um, you, the X chromosome is going to come from your mother. Okay, so a hair follicle system is a very complex system. They have 20 different cells that make up the hair follicle. And inside the hair follicle, we have androgen receptors. And basically, the androgen receptors are going to be set. Their sensitivity is going to be set in different levels throughout the body. Some people have chest hair. Some people don't. Some people have chest hair but don't have facial hair. Whatever it is, you're going to have different sensitivity of androgens within your androgen receptors throughout your body. And here's one thing that Asian men have a disadvantage of growing facial hair, and this is the main reason why many Asian men struggle to grow facial hair. It's because they have lower sensitivity to androgens in their hair follicle androgen receptors. But just basically, short, short, uh, um, long story short is that they have very low androgen receptor sensitivity. Alrighty, and because of this, this is going to be the main cause and the most influential reason why some men can't grow beards. And when you hit puberty, this is how your uh, valus hairs, and this is kind of the light hair that you have, and through because of androgen, testosterone, and, and, and DHT, it's going to turn into this terminal, darker, thicker hair. And this is the process that if you have lower sensitivity, no amount of androgen will help you. Alrighty, so we'll go to the next influential um, reason why you can't grow a beard. It's going to be your androgen level. And I, like I said, I'll skip to the bottom here. This is a very, this androgen level has a limited influence. So if you think that this is an issue, I mean, yes, it is an issue. It should be a very minor issue. 
Um, let's start start from the top. Androgen, m- you know, mentioned multiple times. It's a male sex hormone such as testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, or short for DHT. DHT is going to be a more powerful version of the testosterone, which is converted via the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. Generally, men have seven to eight times the amount of testosterone compared to women, and and about 10% of the testosterone level is converted to DHT. All right, so let's talk about this part right here. About 10% of your testosterone is a super strong um, male sex hormone called DHT. Well, even though both testosterone and DHT bind to the androgen receptors in your hair follicles, so basically both uh, uh, androgen, testosterone, and DHT can actually uh, pr- uh, pr- express the male phenotype such as facial hair, DHT is going to be much more effective. The w- best way I can explain it is like it's more stickier, it binds better, it's just it's just more powerful. But um, uh, because the uh, since ten percent of your testosterone level is converted to DHT, um, I guess the theory is that the more testosterone that you have, it's going to be where you're going to have higher level of DHT just because you're going to increase the amount of T, which means ten percent of a bigger amount is should be bigger amount of DHT. Well, here's another um, here's another disadvantage that Asian men have. Asian men actually have um, about the same uh, testosterone level as any other race. However, here's the problem: they have lower levels of 5 alpha reductase enzyme, which results to lower levels of DHT because you need 5 alpha reductase enzyme to make this super strong D, um, version of testosterone, which is DHT, and they just don't have the same level. So le- lower levels of DHT. So um, as mentioned. You know, in the beginning of this slide, androgen level is going to have a very limited influence. However, it does have some influence. And here's, you know, here's the information that you need to know about androgen levels. Alrighty, so here's kind of the last part. And I'm just going to click through all these because uh, I'm going to go through them really quick. So there are other ways. These are all, and, and just note here, these are all influences to testosterone level. Just think about that. If the, if, if testosterone level is just a limited, um, limited uh, influence to you, why you can't grow a beard, these are e- even subparts of the testosterone. Therefore, this is even less. This is almost nothing, but it's still worth mentioning. All right, body and health, being overweight and having a mass of fat increase uh, that actually increases the level of aromatase enzyme. What this aromatase enzyme does is it metabolizes testosterone and converts them to estrogen, which is a, a female sex hormone. So you're going to have less testosterone and more estrogen if you're overweight and, and you have a um, you know, larger mass of fat instead of larger mass of muscle. And then sleeping is also important. Sleeping under the recommended seven to nine hours per day have shown decreases in the level of testosterone. All right. And diet, drinking alcohol on a regular basis, and binge drinking can reduce your level of testosterone. Food that includes flaxseed, soy, mint, and licorice have been suggested to reduce your testosterone. And lastly, alopecia areata. I mean, this is something probably what a dermatologist sees more. And if you have sudden hair loss and patches in your facial hair area, you should probably consult a dermatologist. Alopecia um, areata occurs when your immune system attacks your hair follicles. And that's why you have sudden hair uh, losses and patches. So again, this is a sub part of androgen levels. This is some ways. I mean, you've there are plenty of guys drinking alcohol on a regular basis and have full beards. So you can tell that this is going to be a very minor, minor, minor issue. All right, let's go through the conclusion as to why some men can't grow beards. And here is uh, here is the kind of the pie chart of my my conclusion. And you, you have to understand. From my research, this is my personal conjecture and my personal theory. Since I'm not a doctor or a medical professional, this is, you know, this is not absolute science, but this is, I guess, my science, right? So looking at all the kind of the factors as to why you can't grow a beard, 95% or more is going to be your androgen receptor sensitivity. If you have sensitive androgen receptors, you should be able to grow a beard. If you're not, then you can't grow a beard. And then the other, the very small minor influences, the 4% on androgen levels. If your testosterone, DHT levels even um, are, are not as high, then you, you may have a little bit of difficulty growing facial hair. But it should be a very minor issue. And the other percent of body health and diet and, um, you know, the uh, alopecia areata, yes, those, those should be even, even smaller. 
So thank you guys for watching this. I want to give a big shout out for Justin Smead, who actually showed me how to create a presentation like this. And then um, the next video is going to be covering um, if you can't grow a beard, then, you know, what are some ways to overcome that? Right. So we'll cover that. And I appreciate all your support. Thank you, everyone.